Hey Wanderers, I'm Ron, and Amanda's behind the camera, and this is Adventures in Cooking. We're again baking this time, so we're going to make another simple recipe. This is actually uh, a ice cream bread recipe found on a website called The Slow Roasted Italian. You've got a lot of great things out there, so we're gonna make this. This is actually technically a two ingredient recipe, uh, but you can kind of get nuts and do what you really want with it. So uh, you need one and a half cup, well, actually first you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. Uh, so that's the first thing you're gonna do, but you need one and a half cups of self-rising flour. Now that's extremely important. It has to be self-rising flour because it has all the other things in there that make bread bread. So if you just have regular flour, that's not going to work. He's got on his uh, on the website how you can add the things needed to, to make it rise, but it's just easier by using self-rising flour. You need ice cream. So we're using Breyer's homemade vanilla because we wanted to, to go kind of simple. Uh, but you need two cups of softened ice cream. So you scoop it out let it thaw out. Uh, here's the thing, it has to be full fat ice cream. It can't be uh, skim or low fat or anything like that. That's important to the recipe. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, actually one more thing down here. almost forgot the sprinkles. So you can just take these two things and boom, you've got your ice cream bread. But we're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna add a half a cup of mini uh, chocolate chips and then we're gonna cover it with sprinkles. Uh, we think that'll be good. We think that'll be uh, enjoyable and maybe this will be bread that Amanda will actually really, really like. All right, so super simple. So I got my one and a half cups of self-rising flour already in the bowl and I'm just gonna add the softened ice cream and I'm gonna mix it together. Now the cool thing about this recipe is that you literally can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you know, you can add, we're going to add chocolate chips, you could, you could add uh, some fruit, you could use different types of ice cream, so maybe you want to uh, make some cookies and cream, so you use cookies and cream ice cream and then add you some Oreos in there. That'll probably be next that we'll do. The, the key to doing it is whatever you add, you don't want it to add extra liquid. So the, the, the softened ice cream is really the only liquid that you want to add uh, into the mixture. Uh, anything beyond that will, will mess up the ratio and it won't bake as well. All right, so we got the ice cream and flour mixed up pretty well. So we're going to add our half a cup of chocolate chips to it. Might just eat it now. All right, so now you're just going to pour it into a pre-greased bread pan. Pour is a relative term because it's pretty thick. So once you get poured in there, it's going to spread it out nice and even. And the purpose of the sprinkles is to cover them before they go in to the oven. So that's it. That's ready to go in the oven. So as I said, we had it preheated to 350 and it's gonna go in for about 45 minutes. There it is, we'll let it cool for a little bit and then we'll uh, we'll try some ice cream bread. All right, you ready to try some ice cream bread? Yep. It looks like it's got a lot of chocolate chips in it. It's really good. I mean. <laughs> Does it taste like cake? Yeah, it, it's definitely got a cake type flavor to it. Okay. Oh, I like it because it's warm still. I mean, anything with this much <laughs> chocolate. And ice cream is its base. 
What was one of the other options that you said? You could do cookies and, you know, cookies and cream. Uh, he said something about adding some nuts and chocolate chips. Add, add nuts, chocolate chips. I even saw one where you uh, maybe some sliced strawberries. Just anything that's not going to add extra liquid. So we're going to cut another slice. We'll get the oldest teenager down here and see what he thinks of it. It's ice cream bread. Right, with chocolate chips in it. So. Yes. So, but you got to be on camera. Yes, I. Is it actually made of ice cream? Yeah. Yes. Ice cream and flour only. Awesome. Here, you can have the rest of this. Thank you guys for joining me for another adventure in cooking today. Ice cream bread, success. And we're gonna try a few more different varieties, but uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again for another adventure. Bye guys.